Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Quarter Horse Customs. We are finally taking Project Apocalypse out on the road with the family. We're just going to take it right up the road. We're going to get it weighed, see how much it weighs. for those who might not be up to date on what we've done with the car we have a 393 stroker with a forged bottom end forged rods forged pistons forged rotating assembly we have a stage 4 cam afr 185 heads port matched to our single plane amazon intake it works we got a 750 brawler carburetor we have no power steering pump no smog pump no ac compressor we just have an alternator water pump crank pulley we have a tubular K member, coilovers up front, we have manual brakes, a three core radiator, electric fans, an MSD box. We have a full cage, we have factory front seats that have been modified so my giraffe ass can fit in the car. We have rear seats, so that way we can have the toddler come with us on Hot Rod Drag Week. We have rear quarter plastics, we have a headliner with working map lights. We still have an 8.8 in the rear, granted it's a spool now, and we also still have a steel bumper with a hitch hooked to the bottom of it. It's that whole hitch bar down there, by the way. If you haven't seen that video, it's a whole hitch bar. And then I guess there is one more thing in the front. We do have an aluminum front bumper in here, not the original steel one. So let's get this over here on the scales and see how much she weighs. I also forgot to mention we also have the SFI harnesses in the car as well and we also are running a fiberglass hood so that takes off a little more weight off the front and we're running the weld racing rims so well, you guys are probably like don't look let's see what it looks like together we weigh 2,900 pounds 40 pounds give or take uh, you know I do have my helmet in there my race suits in the back so once I'm in here whoever's driving the car alone weighs less than 3,000 pounds. So I think that's a pretty good win considering that we have a full interior and everybody says, you ain't that out of there. Nope. We got the full interior. We made our own custom wiring harness. That probably helped and all the other stuff we did with the K member and the light weighting up. I think 2,900 pounds is awesome. Now let's get out there and do some more driving with it. And another thing, huge shout out to Stanberry Seed and Service here in the Upper Sandusky area for letting us use their scale. Thank you guys very much. I don't want to see that now that we're all on here. Okay, let's get more driving in.
Well, we made it to Rigsby's Auto Repair. You know, them guys, one of our big sponsors. Thank you guys. We made it back to the shop. Test drive was going pretty good. And I was like, you know what? The clutch feels a little off. I want to go ahead and get down there and I want to make sure I adjust my cable now that we've done a little bit of break-in. And we got some bad news. So the last time we took this out for a test drive, my rear U-joint had a cap shoot out because it broke. So I had to throw this drive shaft in. I thought everything was okay. I got in the car and it went through all the gears and everything. When I get down here to come and adjust my clutch today, uh, I'm looking around. I see something funky looking there and something funky looking there. When that U joint left the chat, she took out my freaking T5. So now we're down to trans. I don't think I have to spell it out for you guys. That's really not good with 40 days left until drag week. So um, we're going to have to figure out how to remedy this and what our options are. I know what I'd like to do, but it's just not in the budget right now. I'd love to throw TKX in this SOB, but that's like $6,000 I don't have at the moment. So, Oh, let's hope I can find a T5 or... We might be in a real deep one here, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned because we got to figure out what what we're doing. Okay, yep. I think it's about beer thirty.